Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are yet to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. And also, I would like you to look at the screen. There is a website address there that I would like you to visit and you will be glad you did that. Thank you very much. Oshomole chartered plane for federal lawmakers to cause mischief in Edo, Edo speaker alleges. The Speaker of the Edo State House of Assembly, Frank Okiye, says National Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Adam Soshomole, chartered a flight for House of Representatives lawmakers to cause mischief in a bid to have the state parliament shut down. Considering what we came to know in the course of this process, the recommendation of the ad hoc committee does not come to us as a surprise. For example, the chartered plane marked 5N FCT, which brought the committee members to Benin City was paid for by the National Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Comrade Admams Oshomole, who is a major party in the disagreement. Also, the younger brother to the National Chairman, Sid Oshomole, in a recent leaked audio conversation, revealed the on underhand dealings in Abuja regarding the matter, Okie said in a statement. Earlier, Okie told Channel TV on Wednesday that a court had restrained any security agencies from sealing off the House of Assembly complex. Here, there is peaceful conduct of our operation here, and the people that are in the National Assembly do not have such powers to issue out such orders. I repeat, they do not have it. So, it is condemnable and should be resisted, he said. At the end of his interview with the TV channel, Okie issued a statement. It has come to our knowledge that the ad hoc Committee of the House of, Ar House of Representatives investigating issues surrounding the inauguration of the Edo House of Assembly has recommended that the Inspector General of Police and Departments of State Service should seal up the Assembly. Considering what we came to know in the course of this process, the recommendation of the Ad Hoc Committee does not come to us as a surprise. For example, the chartered plane marked 5N FCT which brought the committee members to Benin City, was paid by the National Chairman of All Progressives Congress, Comrade Adams Ushumole, who is a major party in the disagreement. Also, the younger brother to the National Chairman, Sid Ushumole, in a recent leaked audio conversation, revealed the on-hand dealings in Abuja regarding the matter. He stated that Ushumole and his prosies have been having meetings with the committee members and other actions, other actors in the issue, in Abuja, doling out money to ensure the issue goes in their favor. With all this, it was clear that the ad hoc committee was up to no good. Their report was always going to be biased. Moreover, we want to draw the attention of the general public and the police to a substituting court order restraining the police headed by the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, the National Working Committee of the APC, the DSS and their agents from interfering in the affairs of the Assembly as the House has been going about its activities peacefully and without rancor. The National Assembly must take note that they are expected to act as agents of peace and not merchants of crisis. Edo State has always been peaceful and any attempt for them to carry out this order will certainly distribute, disrupt the peace that is currently being enjoyed in the state. In a time like this, in which the nation is being engulfed in one form of violence or the other, it is unfortunate that the House of Representatives is seen to be promoting violence and exacerbating the tension in the country. Signed, Right Honorable Frank Okie, Speaker Edo State, House of Assembly. I think it is the Oshumole and Obaseki rancor and saga is getting out of hand. You know, there was a place I read that the Oba of Benin said, you know, the crisis that is prevailing the House of Assembly in those states, that they hand it over to God, that it's only God that can really come into the matter. You know, it's baffling and surprising that a whole Oba that is well respected cannot just handle this case. You know, that shows that there's something, you know, that these guys do not really want us to know or there's something that they are really hiding. 
even Obad had called both of them like he said in one of his interviews he said he called both of them and he pleaded with them but at the end of the day nothing happened before this a uh, house of representatives from abuja came and i think they are not really getting headway with the whole of this thing and one thing that is surprising you know when these guys when they're having their their chorus when they're having their their rancors that is when you hear them that you know they, they they will make everything known to the public they will be calling the public the, the attention of the public the masses to come and you know for them to be able to whether for the masses to have to take side with any of the party because they want to draw sympathy from the public from the masses and the same masses that you guys have been treating so bad like now if you ask them if you look in depth you know so what is causing this problem you know that it's no more than two things power and money who gets what who is in charge who is the one you know ordering the affairs of the of the of the of the state who is the godfather who is in charge who says what and who does what that is just all all of this rancor is all about it's not for anything it's not because of you know for them fighting for the masses go and check what they receive as salary as you know a lot of things that they receive as incentives you you'll be surprised they will not call the masses then they will not call the attention of the public they will not allow you to know that is when they will tell you that you know it is a family affair that is when you know that there's cackles inside cackles you will have inner cackles they will tell you you know we are going to resolve everything you know it's just a family affairs they will not allow the public to know what they receive the salary they receive these guys receive they will not tell you all the incentives all the allowances they will not tell you they will just come and give you the the figurehead of their the salary that is stipulated you know for a public officer which is nothing that is what they will be presenting to you but they will not tell you the details of all the allowances they collect they will they won't allow you know they will just tell you you know that is just what they collect and when they are sharing money when they are sharing all this uh, consistency allowance allowance nobody will hear their voice but now there's there's something that they don't really want the public to know and that's why this whole thing is lingering has been lingering for a very long time initially both of them were denying it uh Oshomole will come no there's nothing obaseki will come there's nothing everybody will you know put up both face as if nothing is happening but now everything is made open they they can't hide this again i could remember the other time when bauchu was having a some kind of problem Oshomole was like you know that he was ashamed that the same thing that he came to say to him bauchi happening in his own state that how can some people just bring themselves together and they don't want to obey the rule of law you know in appointing the uh, this the uh, house of representatives member and all of that i think that is what is bringing this uh, old saga but i think there's more to it and in another breath some people will come oh obaseki, obaseki is an ingrate or oh, shomole did that this and this and that some will come and say you know you don't know the genesis of the whole thing it was obaseki that helped uh, shomole in the first place shomole never had money shomole this shomole that shomole just came all the way from where he was coming he didn't know anything about uh, uh, those states. It was Obaseki that put him through. Some of the people like Igbenedio and the son, the father, they came together, they brought Ushomole. But at the end of the day, Ushomole, you know, he's not paying them back. It's not, you know, Ushomole see, you know, confirming that he dealt with Godfatherism in the states. And if you ask uh, Obaseki's side, they would tell you Ushomole wants to install himself as the Godfather in the state. I think that is what is really you know what they can really pinpoint so they've really been going back and forth for the uh, old oba not to be able to settle this matter shows that there's something behind it because oba is a very respected you know monarch when it, in, in in the in the history of nigeria for him not to be able to settle this in and handing everything over to god i don't know who is going to settle them like one of uh, the the interview he granted he said he had already told and the president what is happening between Oshomole and the role he played but all to no avail so now they have brought this a uh, house of representatives from abuja but i think and i'm not sure they, are, they will be able to resolve this whole matter so guys that is just my own opinion concerning all that is happening you know saying that Oshomole chartered a plane from uh, abuja to to benin just for them to disorganize the acts of assembly in a those states so like the people were asking where did he get the money from all of that and just like one of the 
uh, speaker, you know, alleged that, you know, they are using money here and there in order to make sure that they seal up the House of Assembly in Edo State. So, guys, I would like to hear from you. Please put down your comments in the comment section. Let's rub my together. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.